my channel. <laughs> All right, so at first I sat down and I wanted to talk to you guys about the Jaclyn, or I should say Becca and Jaclyn Hill highlighter. But I noticed that a lot of people are comparing her Champagne Pop highlighter to the Moonstone and the Opal highlighters that are from Becca as well. And I was like, hmm. Why isn't anyone comparing it to Topaz? Like I've not seen anyone made a comparison to Topaz. And of course, I'm a dark skin girl, so I want to know how it com how it compares to something that they have for deeper skin tones. So initially when I sat down, that's the video I was going to do. But I have a tray or most of the time I have either a drawer or a tray that I keep products that I just purchased. I have this container and what I noticed that it is filled with three products that I, two I know that I'm in love with and the third I don't know too much about. So. What I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna go and I'm gonna talk about these three products to you guys. The first of the um the first is the Jaclyn Hill palette, and I'm going to do swatches and talk about it in regards to the other two Becca highlighters that I have. I also wanted to touch a little bit on these blushes that MAC just released. Um and in that release, they had some colors that I think will be extremely, extremely friendly to deeper skin tones. So I really want to talk to you guys about those as well. And then thirdly are these two highlighters that were released at the drugstore from L'Oreal. The first one is the True Match Lumi in the liquid version and the second one is the same one in the powder version so i find that these are three very interesting products that instead of just doing you know one video of each i'll just touch on all three of these videos and just kind of talk about it with you guys let's start with the elephant in the room the jaclyn hill collab with becca cosmetics She's someone that I've been watching for so many years and I've seen her channel grow. I've seen her, she also growing, you know? I remember when I first started watching Jacqueline, she just had this like attitude and I don't know if she's someone that at that time, someone that I'd be friends with in real life, but I just liked her approach to makeup. I loved how she was a perfectionist. I loved her skills. I admired how she explained things. I admired how she was always herself. And over the years as her channel grew, I mean, her skills just is such an inspiration. And then for to see someone that you've been watching for so long, and now for me to be someone that does videos as well, I am so inspired by this. I mean, think about it. She's this young girl that started making videos and now she has a collab with one of the biggest makeup brands in North America. That is something that if you don't see the beauty in that and the grace and the blessing in that, then I don't know what else to say. I'm really, really, really out to support this, not because it's Jaclyn Hill or not because she is a YouTuber, but because it's a damn gorgeous highlighter. Anyhow, when she released that, I was, you know, as I said in the beginning, I really wanted to come on camera and show you guys how it looked on someone with my skin tone. Swatch it against um, Becca, Opal, as well as Topaz. And this is once again for my deep, darker, skin tone girls that just want to see how it looks before they go out and make that plunge. What I'm going to do now is actually turn down my ring light because it washes out the color just a little bit. This is the color that you're seeing right there. But if I even turn up oh, too dark, but you guys could see from natural lighting. Okay, this is a true, this is what it truly looks like. That's what champagne pop looks like. That's what champagne pop looks like beside opal. 
Do you see that this is more of a... I would definitely say this is a champagne gold. And I would say that this has a more peachy, even a bit of rosiness to it almost. It's a very yellow peachy tone while this is definitely more of a truer golden tone. But this is a lot, a lot warmer than Opal, like a ton warmer. But Topaz is one that is really, really warm. It's darker than the others and of course darker than Champagne Pop. But if anything, they both have a similar, that similar warm, very, very, very warm undertone to them. It's just that Champagne Pop has a lot more of a peachy undertone and it's lighter, whereas Topaz is more bronzy, but it still has that dark, um, that golden undertone to it. So, and what I noticed that is that when you swatch Opal and, um, champagne pop together they almost look exactly alike except that when you when i turn my hand i can even see a little bit more pink in opal and in champagne pop i'm seeing more of that true yellow gold with that peachy undertone to it so as i said very nice and warm and very very friendly to darker skin tone that is topaz that is Champagne Pop and that is Opal. As you guys could see, Becca, I mean, the Topaz almost blends right into my skin tone. That's what they look like swatched together. I think that is definitely a solid, true depiction of what it looks like. Um, yeah, so let's see what it looks like on my cheekbones and i have this brush here that is my favorite for highlighter it is a makeup forever brush in the number 242 it's very similar to your 224 brush from mac and your e40 brush no yeah e35 i think brush from Sigma, but it's just, you know, a small little brush that I think applies highlighter extremely well. I am wearing a little bit of that on my cheekbones today, and I'm going to put it on again for you guys just to see. I did try to do it as sparingly as possible because I filmed another video for you guys just before this one. But yeah, let's try this out. Oh yeah, what I actually love about this one as opposed to the opal is that this one is more buildable. I feel like the opal, the moment you put it on, it's there and it's high voltage highlight. This one, I see that you can definitely, you can build this one up. Like you can share it out and you can build it up. Let me pop some on my brow bone. It's giving me a nice golden highlight. Like this is warm tone, medium tan skin, dark skin friendly. Not necessarily for deep, deep skin, but it's definitely dark skin friendly. Even if you're approaching that deep skin category, you can still use this highlight and it can still look beautiful. One of the things that I think would look absolutely beautiful with this highlighter, if you want to get it, or if you are, are looking for a highlight that you can build up, if you already have Topaz, this is still a great buy. And I'll tell you why. They have the same warm undertone. So say you put Topaz on and you're like, you know what, I'm kind of feeling, a, I want my highlight to be on fleek today. As Jaclyn Hill says, you take Champagne Pop and you apply it over top it in those areas that you want to be a little bit more highlight. Guys, these two mixed together I discovered yesterday after swatching them is absolutely beautiful. As I said, they have the same exact tone, background, it's just that one is deeper and one is lighter. But you mix Champagne Pop and Topaz together, which is probably gonna be my thing this summer, it gives a beautiful, beautiful highlight. So if you're like my complexion and a little deeper, or dark 
like really dark skin and you like topaz and you are looking for something just to give you a little bit more lift put topaz down first and then layer on champagne pop on top and the two make the perfect the best mixture ever <laughs> Let's move on to the MAC blushes. Now, MAC released some new blushes. I think there were, they are, re oh, gosh, what the, I'm trying to remember what the girl said to me yesterday. And the reason why I'm confused about these blushes, if they're totally new to MAC or anything like that, is because I went to MAC a few months ago and I saw them with a blush palette with all the blushes in it. There were six blushes, one really intense pink, one really bright orange, um, this shade here called Burnt Pepper, which if you guys watch my channel, you've seen me use that blush quite a bit. It's a pinky, peachy, terracotta shade that is so beautiful on dark, deeper skin tones that I absolutely love it. Um, and it's a matte shade. So they came out with that blush, promoted them in addition to some other ones. I didn't get all of them, but these are the ones that I think are quite unique and quite friendly to darker, deeper skin tones. Sorry for my lighter girls that are out there because I honestly don't think that there's any there that I think would be perfect for lighter or worse fair skin tone because they're very, very, very bright or very dark and they're very pigmented. So. In addition to burnt pepper that I just showed you guys, I also picked up three of the dark shades. And the first one that I got is called Swiss Chocolate. And that's what Swiss Chocolate looks like. And I'm sure you guys have heard the name before. MAC does have a eyeshadow that is called Swiss Chocolate. So they pretty much made an oversized version of that one. They probably made it a little bit more pigmented because these things are very pigmented. A little bit goes a long way. Swiss Chocolate is sort of like a ready brown. It is a little bit on the cooler tone. Um, so this one, I tried this in store and I absolutely love it for a contour. It contours my skin beautifully and I'm going to show you guys that as well. Now you can use these as eyeshadows as well. I honestly don't see a reason not to be able to use them as eyeshadows. If you are say deeper than I am, this would be a beautiful blush. And the reason why I love these so, so much, guys, is that the struggle to find blushes that actually shows up on someone with that rich mahogany, beautiful, dark, deep skin is very, very, very hard. So I think that these are kicked staples. If you are a makeup artist, you need these in your your arsenal because these are definitely shades that you can use for contour guys there are literally and you can see all the contour powders that are out there it's so hard to find powders that can actually show up on deep deep skin tones so that's why i'm so in love with these next one that i did pick up is called embark once again a eyeshadow from mac this is a rich burgundy purpley brownie i mean how beautiful is this this is absolutely stunning i mean i just can't even i can't contain myself with these like i honestly they're so pigmented like i should be doing this to show you guys this is a blush that i can see once again it's marketed as a blush you can see the purple undertone in it but this is something that you have a client or if you're someone with darker deeper skin tone and you use a light br um, brush to kind of transition a contour or even to form a contour blush on the cheek i i i mean this is beauty this is absolutely stunning yes i'm very excited about these the last one is called film noir actually these all that i'm showing you guys are all matte so yes they're all matte anyhow film noir is more of a rich dark deep brown it does have that dark rich chocolate brown that looks almost 
almost purpley. You can see a bit of purple, but not as much as sketch. And you can see the dark, deep brown in it. And I mean, I can't wait to use these. Like, I just can't wait to like, I just can't wait. I can't wait to get someone that I'm going to do their makeup and be able to experiment with these shades because guys, these are absolutely beautiful. This and they're so buildable. So you can use it as a light swish of color if you don't want like a orangey blush or a pink blush um, on the cheek. And sorry, once again, my fair skin, light, medium skin tone girls. I'm sorry. These are not friendly to your skin tones, but I am strictly addressing my dark and deep skin girls here. So yeah, you take a nice powder brush and you really get that. Start from the bottom of your cheek, build it into the, you know, this kind of line right here, get it in there and work your way up onto the cheek just before you reach the high point of your cheekbone and make the color more concentrated in this area and feather it up and then you put your highlighter on afterwards and oh my gosh like yes this is i mean these are these are beautiful these are stunning i i mean in love i, I i'm sure you guys could see that already but i'll swatch um pink pepper i mean burnt pepper which as I said, I've had for a while. This is a blush, though, that I would say I have to be extremely light-handed with because it is very, 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 very pigmented. Beautiful, rich, warm, pinky, peachy, terracotta color that would look absolutely stunning on dark, deeper, Probably if you're medium working with a nice tan, you can get away with this shade, but I absolutely love these blushes. And if you haven't already, check them out. If you are a makeup artist, check them out. If you are darker, check them out. They're stunning. Once again, there is a orange and a pink that I wasn't really interested in because I do have a lot of those in my collection already. So I find those to be more unique and something that I think will definitely be a great addition to my makeup stash. <laughs> Finally, I wanted to also mention these products. These are two highlighters that were released at the drugstore. They are from L'Oreal. The first one, oh, back story to these highlighters. <laughs> um, there are three shades. So you have a very light shade. I think that one is called what is that one called? <laughs> There's another one there, but I know that that one is really, really fair and very icy almost. So if you are very, very fair skinned, that one would, you know, really work for your skin tone. There is a rose one that is sort of like a rose gold. I don't necessarily think that that one is for a specific skin tone. I definitely think that is, it kind of goes with the whole rose gold type of you know, trend in terms of highlighting. Um, I guess it will be nice on deeper skin tone, but the one that I went for is the golden one. And I bought it both in the liquid form as well as the powder form. And you know what, let's try the liquid form first. It has a nice stopper on it, which I like stoppers, you know, it makes me know that I'm the first one that is going to be using this product. So Let's swatch this. This is what that highlighter looked like. Liquid L'Oreal Golden Highlighter. This is very golden. This almost looked like a liquid version of the Becca Topaz highlighter. Like it's very, very reflective. What I also love about it is that when you blend it out and you give it like a, a minute or so, do you see how reflective that is? Like when I turn my hand, it is really reflective. Once this is set, even right now it's almost set, it just doesn't move. This would be a beautiful addition to foundation. If you are looking for a 
less expensive version of the Becca highlighter and it's once again the quality is definitely there I will say with this one the quality is there it's beautiful it's set it is not going anywhere you can use it on your cheekbones you can use it mixed in with your foundation and it's just going to give your skin a nice glow so there are four sections in this powder so let's oh my god it kind of wiggles in the in the container weird all right let's do them here so we have the golden shade we have the pinky ish shade which is a nice you know very light pink we have like this peachy ish shade this is what these those swatches look like they are right here so we have the golden shade the light pinky ish shade you have the peachy ish shade and then you have the darker shade right there once i pretty much swirl everything together i am left with that shade right there it's not very highlighty at all i mean <laughs> once again we are talking coming from becca products so these or i should say this powder didn't stand a chance anyways because we just finished swatching talking about the becca highlighters so this product was destined for doomness just by that alone but to be honest the, it, the powder is very underwhelming it had the potential to be great but it just didn't it something something yeah no but this cream though beautiful it's rich it's it's pigmented and this golden shade is beautiful and i can't wait to wear it all right guys so that's it i am so hot <laughs> definitely go out there try the champagne pop it is a limited edition shade i definitely think it's a beautiful highlighter and it's a good buy i don't regret purchasing that if anything i'm so glad that becca now has a highlighter that is warmer but not as dark as topaz and second of all the mac blushes like jump on those right now they are permanent by the way these are going to be in their permanent um collection of blushes and if you're a makeup artist great for your kit if you're deeper darker skin check them out i think that they are absolutely unique but necessary product and that's why i love mac because they think about everybody like from the fairest to the darkest okay guys so that is it for this mini review thing we have i'm not sure what i am going to call this video but you know, it's nice to see when certain products come on the market to just kind of grab them and talk about them and do reviews based on how either a first impression or something that I've used, whether I recommend it or not. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Don't forget to leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about this video in addition to sharing your opinion whatever they may be with us. Let us all share in the knowledge. If there's another product that is a dupe for some of the things I mentioned, don't forget to mention and let's all learn from each other. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, share it as well. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye.